God bless you. Welcome to another uh, setting of Just the Word, Just the Word. We're praying with you, praying for you, and believing God to bring you through in a great way. Uh, today's uh, gathering uh, focuses on the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. Mark 4, 35 through 41. 41. And uh, I'm going to read it for our good. And the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose rebuked the wind and said unto the sea peace be still the wind ceased and there was a great calm and he said unto them why are ye so fearful how is it that ye have no faith and they feared exceedingly and said one to another what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him. Uh, I'm, I'm drawn to, to share just a little today on this subject, working with the workers, working with the workers, working with the workers. Uh, lots of time in, in ministry, we are so engaged with uh, reaching out, with touching more people, with uh, getting the word out with uh, enlarging our borders um, and we have people uh, out and working and on assignment uh, but we've got to make ourselves remember that workers need work need to be worked with also uh, workers need to be worked with also uh, Jesus had spent the entire day ministering to multitudes, teaching principles to multitudes, making spiritual matters plain for multitudes. And at the end of a long and exhausting day, uh, he says, let's slip to the other side of the lake uh, for a respite, uh, for just let's get away for a minute. And uh, so they got in their ship according to the word and um, other little ships or boats were around them. And as they got out into the sea, uh, a storm arose. Well, it's not uncommon because of the geography there for uh, the winds to come over the mountains and dip down into the sea and, and cause severe storms. Uh, anyway, uh, the workers, the people who had just been with him as he taught the people who were helpers and facilitators and uh, uh, and stood with him in the midst of teaching multitudes the workers those who were closest with him were in this boat and when the storm arose uh, uh, things got kind of serious in the natural and the workers in my opinion as the storm got more fierce, the workers lost sight of the, their real uh, destiny, their, their, the fulfillment of the cause of Jesus. Uh, and they got consumed in the moment. They got, they got scared. Winds are blowing. Waves are tossing. And the water, the ship is full of water. And... And they're wondering, well, what's going on? So they lost sight. 
they lost sight of all that was ahead of them. Uh, I guess maybe they didn't even know all that was ahead of them. But they, they should have cued in to the attitude and the behavior of the master. Where is he? He's below deck um, on a pillow uh, taking a nap. Of course, uh, finding him there doesn't uh, calm them down. As a matter of fact, they're, they're kind of worried. Well, how can you sleep when all of this is going on? So after a full day's work, after dealing with multitudes of people, Jesus had to get up and work with the workers. He had to get up and bring peace and calm to the workers. And so he spoke to the winds. They stopped and he spoke to the waves. They subsided. And then he, he asked them, what, what, what's going on? Um, why are you so fearful? This, I'm the same one who was on the shore with you. I'm the same one you've been traveling with and you've seen miracles and you've seen great things happen. I'm, I'm that same one and if I'm resting, you can rest. Because we're on a journey. I said we're going over to the other side and we're in the middle of the of the, the water, so we're not at the other side yet. We, we obviously have to get to the other side because I've already spoken it. He worked with the workers. Why are you fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Lots of times we can be in the body of Christ, we can be in the church, we can have positions, and uh, storms come, and we lose perspective. We forget who's in the ship with us. I encourage you today, uh, stir up your faith. Be encouraged. The Lord has it all under control. I ask him daily to teach me to get glimpses of things as he sees things. And I try to train myself. Uh, if, if the Lord isn't panicking, then Lord help me to not panic. Let's work with one another that we may be the church that he's looking for today. We've got to work with the workers. God bless you.